so these are the next questions the question number 25 says the compound or compounds with two lone pairs of electrons on the central atom is or r the first option is brf5 second option is clf3 third option is xcf4 and the fourth option is sf4 let us draw their structure brf5 has square pyramidal structure in which boron has bromine has one lone pair clf3 in case of clf3 it has benti structure with two lone pairs on chlorine atom in case of xcf4 we have square planar structure with two lone pair on xenon and in case of sf4 we have seesaw structure with one lone pair on sulfur so among these four options only clf3 and xcf4 are those molecules in which the central atom has two lone pairs so the correct answer for this question is option b and option c now let us move to the next question which is question number 26 in this question it is given a plot of the number of neutrons which is represented as n against number of protons which is represented as p of stable nuclei exhibits upward deviation from linearity from atomic number z greater than 20 for an unstable nucleus having n by p ratio less than 1 the possible mode or modes of decay is r the four options given are p beta emission k electron capture neutron emission and positron emission these are four options given always remember when we have n by p ratio less than 1 then the nucleus gain the stability by either k electron capture or by positron emission so if i have a nucleus 1h1 if k electron capture takes place it will give us a neutron and if we have a beta emission in that case also in that case also we get a neutron so the correct answer for this question will be b and d so b and d will be the answers for this question now let us move to the next question 